Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Yellow Mountain Garden. I'm Malcolm Banks. What I'm about to do over here, guys, I do companion farming. Um, if you don't know what companion is, is that you plant in plants that benefit other plants. So I have tomato plants that get benefits from garlic. So our garlic will probably be ready to harvest in July. And our tomato plants, we should be able to harvest some in July too. And by the time we do that, these things will be getting harvest too and to make more space but at the same time these also like protecting the plants from like pests and stuff like that and it's also giving um the um tomatoes like different type of um, nitrogen and um and also it gives like good fungus so all garlic is is like a cover crop guys that's all it is and we're gonna come in between them we're going to plant these things maybe like, you know, 18 inches apart from each other. So we'll probably like plant one here, skip that row, plant one there, skip that row, plant one there, skip that row. And then we'll just put up some poles to um, make sure they stable. Because one thing about tomatoes, once they get big, the wind start blowing and they start outgrowing um the ground you have to heal them real good too as well and also plant them deep these is a little early plant these you know and um this variety right here is called um it's like an heirloom variety i got from my friend it says mid size so maybe i gotta <laughs> hit him up and ask him what that mean but i don't know but um all of these like this is a bumblebee so this is like a cherry tomato and then um this is the Roma, so these good for canning with and stuff like that. And then this is the um, big pink. Yeah, that's what I like. I like the big pinks and stuff like those grow well. And then I'm also going to integrate them in between these green onions and stuff like that. So we're going to plant them all between these green onions because um, onions is companion with um, uh, tomatoes, too. And it also give it nitrogen, too, as well for them to grow. All right, but let me show y'all what I'm about to do. All right, let's get it. Let, let's get it going. Okay, some holes. Then I'm gonna come through, and then I'm gonna put the tomatoes in it. Like I say, I don't really gotta apply no fertilizer to it, cause it's like what we doing right now, we integrating plant with um, garlic. So the garlic is already giving it some nutrients deficient and stuff like that. You want to make sure all your weeds out the bed too guys get as much weeds that you can out of the bed for um it won't outgrow and take over your tomato plants and stuff like that that's why some of y'all be wondering why your tomato plants ain't grown maybe because you don't get the weeds out before you even plant because your, your weeds outgrow the plant you know you can't be having your weeds outgrowing the plant That ain't cool. Alright. So now we got that in the ground. So what we gonna do? What we gonna plant? Malcolm Banks. I'm gonna come over here, get down on my knees like this. Then you always wanna poke from the bottom. Poke it from the bottom. For it to come out. Yeah, these ready to get transplanted. Um, if your tomatoes are real big, like I probably say about a foot tall, it's best to plant them real deep and try to bury them as much as close you can get it to the top. Cause like everything at the bottom, if you got like a big plant, you can shave everything off at the bottom or you can lay it sideways. Some people plant their tomatoes sideways because they gonna grow up anyway. Cause all tomatoes are is a ground cover guys people don't know we use stakes to keep them up so you can get a bigger yield but in reality it's no other ground cover so they can really grow on the ground if you ever had some tomatoes they just fell over and they start growing and stuff and you like wow these things still producing so they no but a ground cover that's how actually i think the native americans grew them as ground covers because they'll protect um i think it 
most uh, natives did like corn and then they'll grow like some pumpkins for a ground cover and then i think they'll grow like the um the onions and and um tomatoes too and the tomatoes would be the ground cover i guess because like when you growing onions you have to weed it so much and those tomatoes are just like kind of grow over it and then no um, grass won't come but it's better to pull them guys than let them grow on the ground like i said you're gonna get a, a bigger and better yield so it's just better to do it that way okay but let's get let's get the plan y'all we can't be talking and wasting time yeah, this onion, this this garlic bed smell delicious though. Smell like a fabulous restaurant or something, you know. So these gonna be good for the kitchen to make like um sandwiches. So you got like different type of um tomatoes. So you got tomatoes that you can with, and that's like the Roma tomatoes. Then you got like the cherry tomatoes, they good for like salads. And then you got these wet on plant and they good for like hamburgers and um, lunch sandwiches and stuff like that. And they less acidic too as well. And I think this variety come from an old family out of Virginia that my friend um, got from, from their family. It's kind of like real hard to get this variety too as well. They don't even sell it on the internet I think. So it's good to know like growers who got seeds that other people don't have, you know. It's like a blessing. Got that in the ground. Yeah. And you see how easy it is, guys. You just gotta like being on your knees. If you don't like being on your knees, get you a raised bed. And you um won't bend over as much if you get a raised bed. You know, a lot of people like hydroponic. I mean, hydroponic. You know, if you don't like bending over, get you a hydroponic too as well. those that quick guys that's how you plant your tomatoes and now I got to plant you know 20 some more and there ain't gonna be nothing to plant these and I'm gonna plant this down the onion row so I hope these tip and information help y'all make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that share button follow me on all the platforms go sign up for the free garden class courses on yellow mount garden well not the free i used to do a free garden course but now i charge i guess i gotta charge to even get y'all to show up it's a shame you know you put it out there for free seem like nobody don't come when you charge it seems like it's more serious people want to get involved and those are the people that we want to get involved where we can get them to start planting and growing their own food and don't depend on the grocery and store, the grocery store. So that's what we doing. All right, one love, y'all. Take it easy.